Roy Jones Jr. I actually watched him sing that song live at the uh, WBC oh. convention there in 2016 in Miami. What a buzz that was. Rick Powell, how are you, mate? I'm good, Paul, yourself? Thanks for coming on Radio 2 BACR this morning. Pleasure. Mate, what's happening around the globe in boxing, especially here in Australia? Well, firstly, let's go around quickly around the globe. Obviously, you the Golovkin fight tonight is going to be an absolute cracker against Alvarez. Um, that one will be really great for us to see. And I suppose after his draw, I'm um, putting his four titles back on the line. That's going to be an interesting fight. Mm -hmm. Should be a beauty. I mean, it will be. I mean, that March Rosen has got 40 fights at least on his record. And uh, he's probably not, not the goods, I guess, against Golovkin. And I'd much preferred a rematch against Alvarez. That would have been great. Yeah, I suppose. sure. I'm not sure, mate. Um, I'm not sure. I'd like to be the promoter of that fight. I'd be able to tell you more, but no, it'd be great, wouldn't it, if it if it did happen? It will be. I, I see that Golovkin tonight will equal the record of Bernard Hopkins for the amount of defences really? for his titles, which is okay. pretty impressive. It's, uh, it certainly is. How many was that, Rick? Do you know off the top of your head? No, straight off the top, I don't really really yeah. know. Paul. No, but uh, uh, anyway, look, I'm, I'm, I'm in Melbourne on May the 19th to do the uh, the Maloney fight card, which sees both brothers up for shot at the WBA Oceana titles. These guys are, are definitely on the march upwards in, in their careers, which is pretty exciting to see for Australian boxing, Paul. It certainly is. They're going great guns, uh, aren't they? And that's on the Lyndon Hoskins uh, show, isn't it, mate? That's right. Yeah. Uh, on, the, on the same card, we've also got uh, Terry Tuzumanis who's got a shot on the uh, undercard of the Pacquiao fight, which is, again, another bonus for Australian boxing to get yeah. out fighters overseas, that, which is pretty exciting. That's um, that's fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic. Um, and, yeah, we need all these opportunities for our fighters overseas, Paul, and it's good to see. We certainly do. And you keep pretty busy, Rick, don't you? You just don't MC here in Sydney. You, you do quite... Fly in the state quite a bit, don't you, mate? Doing yeah, shows well, this, this, month, this month will see me in the space of uh, seven days in Melbourne, in Queensland, and in New South Wales. So it, uh, it's good. There's a lot of fights going on, and in particular, of course, the 24th of this month, the Star Boy is going to be an absolute cracker again, yeah. another all star lineup. Yeah, it's going to be a great show, that one. Well, I'll address the elephant in the room with that one. It's Ben Savar and Kyron Dryden. Lots of bad blood, lots of bad words spoken. That should be a bottle of a fight. Your prediction with that, you think? Uh, mate, it'll be a cracker. I'll sit on the fence. Uh, Kyron was going to come on this morning, but uh, he's yep. too busy sparring. But um, he's, right. caught, he's, he, when he, he's, he's actually said in a statement when he beats Ben Savar, he's going to call out Dara Foley, Jack Brubaker. Wow. So he's a very confident young man. Wow. So, uh, it's get, look, it's going to be a great fight. Um, it's just been put back, hasn't it, Rick? I mean, they'll, both boys were disappointed. Ben did have an eye injury, but that's boxing, yeah, isn't it, mate? He, you know, it, it is boxing, Paul. You, you know, you do get those injuries. They do hold up the fights. And I suppose Kyron was disappointed. But, um, you know, he, he said quite a few things on, on the day. And maybe that was just his frustration, you know, letting loose rather than really meeting, uh, you know, lots of bad blood, I guess, at the end of the day. Yeah, it's just built up the hype more, hasn't it? The boys have had more time to train, so it is going to be a beauty. It's going to be a main event in itself, that one. But you know what, Paul? I think the whole card looks like a giant main event because, again, yeah. when we look at the main event, which, of course, uh, Jack Brubaker up against the UK's uh, Tyron Nurse. I mean, again, another cracker of fight. I mean, mm. I guess Nurse is way, way more experienced. 40 fights, 35 wins. It's a big record to deck 16 and 13. It sure is. You know, Jack wants to get out there and fight the best, so that's what exactly what Jack's going to do. It, I mean, that's an ambitious fight for Jack. Do you think the same as I do, Paul, with that one? Uh, I hope Jack beats him, as we all do, mm. but uh, I have yep. not had a look at the Englishman yet. I, I keep meaning to Google him and just check him out. Mm. Uh, uh, it, should, it should be a really good fight, though, that one. The, the, the main event's going to be a bottle of I can't wait to see it. It'll be a beauty. So your next uh, your next event is the 19th of May. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm doing a uh, all amateur card. Uh, oh, sorry, the next weekend. Oh, next sorry. Week. Yeah, don't forget. Don't forget Club Punch Bowl, Rick. Yeah, that's right. That'll be a great <laughs> card too. All fantastic amateurs again. Another great night ahead of us. You don't mind, uh, Rick? There's about 22 amateur fights matched up at the moment, so <laughs> you can just stay in your stool all day, mate, instead of walking up and down uh -huh. them steps. That'll be a hard. It'll be a hard day in the office.
miss that one. <laughs> uh, Just coming back to the star pool, if you don't mind, I mean, you yes. notice that uh, you've got uh, Reynolds Quinlan on the card of coming off the back of his loss to, uh, to Daniel Hooper. Um, he'll want a, a, a bit of a, a show to make a bit of a comeback, I think, to resurrect his career against that Mark Lucas is 9-0. What do you think with that, Paul? Well, that fight's going to be re rescheduled, unfortunately, Rick. Uh, uh, yeah, qu um, Reynolds uh, has broke his hand in his last fight against uh, Damien Hooper, so they're going to reschedule it at a later date. Hopefully on the next uh, Johnny Lewis fight series, which will be the, around about the 4th of July at the moment. Mm. So, yeah, still a good card, but, um, yeah, d disappointing. Oh, is, is the Tim Zoo fight still going? Yeah, Tim, if he's, he's on, he's fighting an Indonesian, uh, 27 That's wins. Yeah, Larry Seward, that would be a That's great him. fight. That's him, yeah, yeah, 23 KOs. Uh, yeah, there's some good fights on there, and uh, all the action gets underway from 7 p.m. Okay, uh, 7 p.m., and that's the Thursday night on the Star this year, this, that's uh, it. this time round. Mm. That's it, Rick. Well, we'll leave it there, Rick. Um, well, great having great having you on the show once again, my uh, man. It's always a, always a pleasure, Paul. Always a pleasure to talk to you. And uh, don't be late for Club Punch Bowl next week, mate. I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rick. Thanks for coming on, Thank mate. Paul, real pleasure. Thank you.